Hello, this is Colin Jacobs. I'm assistant professor in the Department of Medical Imaging at Radboud University Medical Center, located in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. In this video, I will discuss the newest research article from my research group entitled Deep Learning for Malignancy Risk Estimation of Pulmonary Nodules Detected at Low-Dose Screening CT, published in the August 2021 issue of Radiology. I will be joined in this video by the first author of the research article, Kiran Vaida Venkadesh, who will now introduce himself. Hi, my name is Kiran Vaidya Venkadesh. I'm a second year PhD candidate in the Department of Medical Imaging at Radboud University Medical Center. I'm working on AI for lung cancer screening as part of my PhD research project. Multiple randomized controlled trials for lung cancer screening have demonstrated that annual screening using low-dose chest CT can reduce lung cancer mortality in a high-risk population. Lung cancer screening using low-dose CT primarily helps to detect cancers at an early stage when they are easier to treat successfully. As a result of this, lung cancer screening is being implemented in various countries worldwide and being considered in others. Recurring discussion points around the implementation of lung cancer screening include the potentially high false positive rates, cost effectiveness, and the availability of radiologists for scan interpretation. Now, in my research group at the Department of Medical Imaging at Radboud University Medical Center, we focus on developing artificial intelligence algorithms that help with the interpretation of low-dose chest CT scans. When I started this research about 11 years ago, we we're still using the more traditional machine learning approaches. But in the last eight years, we are mainly seeing that deep learning approaches have really led to a new level of performance, and we are now able to train AI systems that perform on par with clinical experts. And we believe that these algorithms can be of great help to assist screening programs and screening radiologists with the interpretation of lung cancer screening scans. And we believe that this can make screening more efficient. Now, in our research article in radiology, we focused on malignancy risk estimation of screen detected nodules in lung cancer screening. Previous screening trials have clearly demonstrated that pulmonary nodules are common in the target population. The vast majority of these nodules is however benign. So the challenge is to pick out the malignant nodules. Um, and previous trials have already demonstrated that there are extra investigations for benign nodules, and we would like to keep that to a minimum. So the challenge is to find criteria which discriminate benign from malignant nodules in lung cancer screening trial. Now, our aim was to develop an AI model which helps with this discrimination. And that's what we aimed for in this study that we published in radiology. In our research article in radiology, we described the development and external validation of a deep learning algorithm for malignancy risk estimation of pulmonary nodules detected at low dose screening CT. We developed our algorithm using 16,000 nodules from the National Lung Screening Trial of which 1,250 nodules were malignant. We externally validated our algorithm on around 900 nodules from the Danish lung cancer screening trial, of which 65 nodules were malignant. We found that our algorithm outperformed the clinically established PANCAN model on the external validation cohort. When we compared our algorithm against a panel of 11 clinicians, we also found that our algorithm performed comparably to expert thoracic radiologists. The published AI model gives a malignancy score between zero and one at the moment. And this is similar to existing established nodule risk calculators, such as the PENCAN model. And the PENCAN model is currently used in clinical practice and thresholds on this score are used to guide nodule management. Now we are continuing our work and are working on the calibration and discretization of our AI score to make them uh, more usable in clinical practice. And in the future, we imagine that screening radiologists can use our AI score to determine which nodules need short-term follow-up and which, uh, or even referral to a pulmonologist and which nodules do not need additional follow-up and, and come back to in the next screening round. So in the end, we hope that further research will show that these AI models are robust, reliable and accurate and can be included for, in guidelines for nodule management in screening, just like the PANCAN nodule risk calculator. But for that, we need more external validation on larger and modern screening data sets.
We have made this algorithm publicly available using the grandchallenge.org platform. Interested viewers can upload anonymized chess CT images and try out these algorithms for themselves for free. We would be more than happy to hear about what your experiences may be. If other investigators are interested in performing an external validation of our algorithm, we'd be more than happy to support this process. We are setting up an international reader study to see how this AI system would aid readers in lung cancer screening and to test the performance of readers with and without the AI support. And this will show us more concretely what the impact of our AI model may be. Furthermore, it's interesting to note that we aim to combine this AI model with other AI models that we have developed for calcium scoring and emphysema quantification. And this will allow us to develop models that calculate a personalized risk for lung cancer. And then we can investigate whether this can be used to increase the screening efficiency further. Participants with a very low risk for lung cancer may, for example, switch to a biannual screening frequency, which will decrease the costs of screening further. We thank you for your attention. We thank you for your attention.